Let's review the controls on a Fender Stratocaster or Stratocaster style guitar. Well, when you look at a Strat, there's a little bit of uh, hardware here to, to sort out. Uh, I'm sure you can see there's three pickups, neck, middle, and bridge. And you've got these three knobs and the switch. Um, let's look at the, well, the volume controls, just a master volume. I like to control that with my little finger. Um, so, you know, I put my hand on the bridge here, do some picking, and I just kind of roll it with my pinky. So I might... Let's grab a pick. Same thing. Um, I'm going to add some distortion with a, a Moxie Wampler, Wampler Moxie in a rat. So it's a pretty hot sound. Check it out. If you want to clean it up, just roll it back with your pinky. More clean. More distortion. So that's a really cool thing. You can, you know, make notes swell and fade. <laughs> so that's a, a hot little tip. I'm going to get rid of those overdrives. Um, this knob in the middle controls the tone of, I believe, the neck pickup. Let's find out. Yep. Again, I like to roll with my pinky, just, you know, so I, by holding the pick, what I think is correctly, not tied up like a little fist here, but keep these fingers off the pick, then you can uh, roll your control. So if you want, you know, if it's too shrill, just roll the highs down. Sounds a little more fat, less spiky. And you can kind of make, treat it like a wah pedal. Cool. Let's add the overdrive. A little more pronounced with the overdrive. <laughs> so you can kind of just rotate that. Uh, this is normally, this tone control is normally wired to just control the middle pickup. Let's test, we'll test that. Yep, sure enough. This one has terrible uh, <laughs> static in it. Sorry about that, but normally on a Strat, you go down here to the bridge pickup position one, and there is no tone control. So this one is all, always wide open with tone, really bright and shrill. That's the way Leo Fender designed it. But with a, a simple modification, you can make this tone control not only control the tone of the neck pickup, but also the bridge. Let's test it. I'm thinking about, I don't think these sound particularly good. I'm going to see if I can upgrade the, uh, get different pots in here and see if I can make them roll off in a different way. I don't really know all the, you know, there's different tapers and uh, different, different resistance and homage or I don't know, whatever. Some electronics thing we can do to make this uh, maybe sound better. But if you have a lot of distortion, you can get a really fat sound versus the shrill. A nice fat tone. All right. 
right. So, you know, you get fluid with those knobs. You can dial in so, uh, tones and sounds pretty easy. Let's just look at the uh, pickup selector. This uh, five-way is uh, when you're when you go all the way down. You get the bridge pickup, which is good for. kind of uh, punchy, uh, trebly, defined, crisp tone. That's the bridge pickup. And up high, it's pretty shrill. And you can tame it, of course, with the tone control. All right, let's get rid of that distortion. Um, there's that nice crisp bridge pickup. If we flip up one, we get these two, which is uh, bridge and middle. It's called uh, position two. that kind of honky nasal quality. I'm gonna check. Just tune this thing. I think the strings are kind of getting old. I know the feeling. Sometimes I don't feel perfectly in tune myself. All right. Sorry about that. that kind of ducky quacky sound so it's a little bit they call it out of phase I don't know if it's really out of phase truly let's move up to position three which gives us uh, the middle pickup by itself I used to really dislike that pickup. It's just too middle sounding. I think it's pretty nice now. So when I'm gigging, I just flip it wherever and not that big of a deal. If we flip up one more pattern or a pattern. Position four is these two pickups, which they're, again, kind of out of phase. Of course, when we're bringing in the neck pickup, it's more bassy, and we're, we don't have that shrill uh, bridge pickup to deal with anymore. If we flip up one more, we get just the neck, pick, the neck pickup, which is very glorious. So you can just, you know, flip that easily. So a lot of guys get, you know, they're like, well, I keep hitting this or I keep hitting that. That's because you're playing like that, maybe. Uh, so if you can get your playing in kind of tight, you know, when I, if I played something fast, I'd be, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm not whacking those, the switch, but I don't have the pro that problem, but I've seen people take these and cut them way down so they're way low profile or you know maybe I don't know what they do maybe put something to lock that in place where it stays so they don't knock it tape it into position 
or maybe tape these or glue these <laughs> where they want them. I don't know. But uh, people are trying to re-engineer that. That's okay. But maybe re-engineer the way you uh, your picking hand sits. And if you're flailing around and using your whole arm to strum, then you're going to be, you know, yes, you're going to hit things. But <laughs> uh, I usually just, I'll either have my fingers here or my palm there or both. And I don't 